Hey folks, uh, we're going to talk briefly about something called the Hall Effect. Um, and we're just going to talk about it in a conceptual manner. We're not going to do any math with this. Um, so if you need to, please take a moment, pause the video, and uh, copy down those, those diagrams I have there. All right, so uh, a little history for you. Uh, when was the electron discovered? Well, the electron was discovered in 1897 by J.J. Thompson. He eventually won the Nobel Prize for the discovery in 1906. Okay, so right around 1900 or so, the electron was discovered. So before that, scientists knew that electric current charges were flowing through objects when you ran current through them, when you had a battery or something hooked up, um, a voltaic cell, for instance, hooked up to, to a piece of metal. Um, so how do we know what's doing the move-in, uh, positive or negative charges? Okay. Well, if you look at it in terms of, let's say, a battery, okay, and the battery's got a, a positive and a negative end. So is positive current running this way or are electrons running that way? Okay. Now, it turns out that if you look at it just strictly in an electrical sense, you, you wouldn't be able to tell the difference. So, for instance, let's say I have these two buckets of charge and I connected them with a wire. So here's the wire. And let's say I had positive charges flow to the right. So let's say these two positive charges flow to the right. Well, what would happen is this right-hand bucket would have, have a net positive charge when all is said and done, and this left-hand bucket would have a net charge as negative when all is said and done. Okay. Well, what if instead we took our buckets and negative or electrons moved to the left? All right. So these negatives would go this way, and the result would be exactly the same. The left-hand bucket would end up with a negative net charge, and the right-hand bucket would end up with a positive net charge. So it doesn't really matter in terms of studying just current alone whether positive or negatives move. Okay, what we do, they would move in opposite directions, but we can't tell which one's moving. Okay, so even though the electron wasn't discovered until 1897, it turns out in about 1879, so almost 20 years earlier, uh, Hall, and his full name is Edwin Herbert Hall, uh, was able to determine that it is indeed negative charges moving through your circuit. How did he do it? Okay, well, here's the idea. Okay, if you what you do is you immerse the conductor into a magnetic field. So let's say electrons are moving this way through their, your conductor and you immerse the magnetic, immerse this in a magnetic field. Let's just say for the sake of argument, the magnetic field is pointing into the page. Okay. So if you do that, which way will those electrons go? Well, you have to have, you have to use your left hand because it's negative charge. So if you take your left hand and face it, so it's pointing to the right with the electron flow, and then you curl your fingers into the page with the magnetic field, your thumb points down. So what ended up happening is the bottom surface here would acquire a negative charge, and that would leave behind a positive charge on the upper surface. Okay. Well, what if the opposite happened? What if, and I'll just redraw this rectangle here, or this rectangular solid, what if instead... Okay, here's your rectangular solid. What if instead positive charges were moving to the left through your conductor? In other words, positive current was going that way. Okay, and again, let's immerse this into a magnetic field that points into the page. That's your magnetic field. Okay, well, now you'd use your right hand rule. You'd uh, point your right hand to the left with the proton or positive charge flow. You'd curl your fingers into the page and your thumb would point down. So now the bottom of this would be positive charges, okay? And the top of the plate would be left with negative charges, okay? So Hall basically measured the change in voltage from the top to the bottom of that rectangular solid. And by the sign of the voltage, he was able to determine that it is indeed negatives charges flowing. So you can just tell by if the, if the voltage is positive or negative going from top to bottom if your charges that are flowing are positive or negative. So he was able to figure out that negative charges flow. OK, 
Okay. Now, um, there's also some math that goes along with that, um, but we're not going to cover that today. Uh, so the idea is, though, conceptually speaking, you can tell uh, this is like 20 years before the discovery of the electron. Hall figured out that negative charges were flowing through uh, conductors by basically immersing the current in the magnetic field and seeing which which side of the object became positively charged and which side of the object became negatively charged. All right. I hope that uh, video was helpful and thank you very much.